Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Canadian nursing versus USA nursing and some of the differences that I have noticed from my research online. If you wanna gain more information about nursing or to improve your nursing knowledge in general, please consider subscribing down below. I upload a video every single week and you don't wanna miss them. Also, I'd greatly appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up. It helps support the channel and share the video with others. All right, so let's get on with today's video. The differences between Canadian nursing and USA nursing. Now, I have personally researched this quite extensively because I eventually wanna to move to USA and given this pandemic and how everything is shaped up that has kind of delayed the process but in the meantime I've kind of researched what I need to prepare myself for and here's a few things that I have learned through my research. The first key difference that I have noticed is the fact that as a nurse in Canada specifically British Columbia my shifts are four in a row so I work two day shifts and then I work two night shifts so that is quite different from nursing in the states where you work three shifts in a row whether that's days or nights so you don't alternate between day shift and night shift like we do you essentially work three shifts either days or three days three nights so that that's kind of a huge difference that i have noticed being a canadian nurse in that the usa the US nurses do is that switch between days and nights is not there. Whereas as a Canadian nurse, you have the two day, 12 hour shifts, and then you switch into a two day night shift. The other major difference is the fact that healthcare is free in Canada. So the way things are done is more in a way that um, provides every patient with the best care possible. Whereas in the States, I could see how someone may not be able to afford certain procedures, certain interventions, so they don't really have um, the ability to make a decision on what is best for their health. They're, they have that financial burden behind their thinking and their decision making. And that changes the way you practice as a nurse. Finances is going to be a huge burden on the patient and you having the resources, you knowing all about that is going to have a huge impact on the way you deliver care for patients. It's also worth saying that in Canada, in general, the hospitals are not competing with each other because it's all governmentally government funded. The Providence Healthcare in British Columbia or Vancouver Coastal Health, these different uh, health authorities are not really competing in providing patient care. Rather, they're collaborating on ways that we can improve care. But in the States, I could definitely see how that's a problem because you know you wanna be the best hospital. You wanna be superior. Your, uh, each hospital is kind of like a major business in that they wanna provide good care for patients and they wanna compete with the opposing hospital. So different hospitals, you know, might, might wanna, might compete with each other, which I don't know if that will benefit the patient in the end or if it will cause more um, problems for the patient in the end. One thing that I have personally noticed in my research is the wait times are much lower in the States Whereas in Canada, because there's a lot more people that have access to the care, there's a lot more wait time. So wait times are huge in Canada and it's a increasingly becoming more, more and more of an issue as, as we become, as we live older and older as human beings, but in general, just due to the sheer amount of accessibility in these different procedures. Speaking a little bit more to that is the the fact that a hospital may shut down if it's out of business in the States. Whereas in Canada, it's very, very unlikely that a hospital will shut down. It's almost unheard of for a hospital to completely get shut down. Maybe they might stop providing certain, um, certain interventions or they might pr stop from providing certain um, services. But in general, the Canadian hospitals are here to stay and if anything they're going to get shut down for a brand new one to be built years ahead which is happening here in Vancouver. Anyways though that's a huge difference that I have noticed in my research is the fact that you know you could potentially have hospitals be shut down because they're not being they're not making enough profit 
Is that likely to happen in the States? Not really, but is it more of a possibility in the States than Canada? I certainly think so. And what does that correlate to? That means that you're gonna have a whole bunch of doctors, nurses, all these different disciplines that are don't really have a job because the hospital has to be kind of run as a business, sort of. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And I would love to hear what my US audience um, has to say about this. Um, I'd love to learn more about differences in practice if you guys have thought of anything. And maybe I'm incorrect in the fact that hospitals are businesses in US, but in general, that's what I've researched. Maybe I've researched wrong things. I would love to hear what you have to say. So leave a comment down below. I would love to hear about your experiences and what your research has showed. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.